Why are covalent bonds strong? By kscience.com. In this video, we're going to learn why covalent bonds are very strong. Chlorine or Cl2 is a nonmetal, as it contains the element chlorine, which is found in group 7 to the right of the stepped line. Because it's in group 7, it means there are 7 electrons in the outer shell. So when I draw the dot and cross diagram of a chlorine molecule, I know to draw 7 electrons in each outer shell. So this is a dot and cross diagram of a chlorine molecule, where the protons in the nucleus are positive and the electrons in the shells are negative. This is the covalent bond, which is a shared pair of electrons between two nonmetal atoms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now let's think about why covalent bonds are so strong. Because covalent substances like water or carbon dioxide or oxygen, they have really low melting points and boiling points. Yet we know covalent bonds are very strong. So why is this? Well, the protons in each nucleus are positively charged, represented by the red crosses. And then there are negatively charged electrons in the shells represented by these blue lines. So these are negatively charged electrons and these are positively charged protons. And this is the covalent bond, a shared pair of electrons between the positive protons in the nucleus and the negatively charged bonded pair of electrons. There is a very strong electrostatic force of attraction. This is between the oppositely charged protons and bonded electrons. You may recognize this term from your understanding of an ionic bond. Electrostatic forces of attraction always exist between oppositely charged ions or oppositely charged particles such as electrons and protons. The electrostatic forces of attraction keep the atoms in place in the molecule. They are very strong and require a lot of energy to break. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.